I remember so clearly when YouTube TV launched and it was only like 40 something dollars a month with no contracts and I could actually afford that at the time and watch my live sports and not completely break the bank and now here we are at the end of 2025 and I think it's like 80 something dollars a month. It's like not even any cheaper than just having like regular cable installed in your house and you know you can just lose access to abc and all these like disney owned channels espn and suddenly monday night football is just off the menu for you anyways it's kind of insane and that's why a few years ago i started exploring the world of over the air television i posted a video talking about a thing called Air TV. It works with Sling TV, and basically what it does is it grabs the signal from a standard over-the-air antenna and converts it into something that you can stream to other devices. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you about something that I think is better. So this is something called the HD Home Run. Now, the one I purchased is the Flex 4K, and the reason for this is it is compatible with ATSC 3.0. At some point, old, current, over-the-air TV streams are going to go away. That is ATSC 1.0, and they're going to be replaced with 3.0. 3.0 is just better. It's higher quality, better picture quality, better audio. They're going to swap out. So that old Air TV was not compatible with ATSC 3.0. That was a big reason why I wanted to get rid of it. Another reason I wanted to go with this HD Home Run is because it actually works very well with my Plex server. We're going to talk about using it with Plex and with its own uh, built-in application. But it is remarkably, remarkably simple to set this thing up. You literally just plug it into the wall, you plug it into an Ethernet cable, and you plug it into your antenna. My antenna came from Home Depot, just drove down the road, bought this thing attached it to the side of the house and you're done once everything is hooked up all you need to do is go to a web browser and either type in the ip address of the box itself you can grab that from your router or just go to hdhomerun.local and it should pull up this web page with the sling tv stuff you're installing the sling tv app and the setup goes through it and it's kind of a clunky app that doesn't work very well i like this a lot you just go to this web page and there it is. I think I went into channel lineup and I think I clicked on detect channels and this is what it picked up. I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee, and these are the channels that it grabbed. And you can see a lot of these say HD because these are ATSC 3.0 streams and they do look much better than they looked on my Sling TV uh, Air TV setup. A cool thing here too is that under tuner status, you can always see which of the four tuners are being used and what its signal strength is. And I did say that correctly, there are four tuners. So you can either have four different ATSC 1.0 streams going at once, or you can have two 3.0 streams. For me, that is way more than enough. Let me actually fire up a stream on my phone and I'll show you the signal. If you go to the Play Store and search for HD Home Run, I'm using an Android device, so I'm assuming there's an iPhone app as well. This is the application. We'll quickly fire it up. And again, there's like no setup at all. It didn't even ask me to make an account. It literally just sees the HD home run on my home network and says, that's it. Here you go. So from there, I'm just going to fire up a stream. This is my local CBS affiliate. And you'll see in real time, that's how long it takes for us to actually start streaming over here. Now you can see that Tuner 2 is on channel 8.1 WVLT. That's my affiliate. We're going to click on Tuner 2. And you can see that my signal strength is 100%. You can see lots of information about it. And the cool thing is there is an HD home run application for your television that is kind of required for this, right? You're not just going to watch TV on your phone. So this is my Google TV streamer and any Android TV set top box should have access to this app. And I'm again, assuming they probably have this app for other TV boxes as well. But we're going to scroll over to the HD Home Run application and it should 
fire up pretty quickly. It does have this kind of janky looking splash screen that plays. It actually just jumps straight into <laughs> the station that was already streaming. So we're going to hit back and we're going to go to this main screen. And it looks very similar to how it looks on my phone. Now I will say this app works much better on a TV than on a phone. The scrolling on your phone is just kind of weird. The interface is a little unintuitive for a phone. But for a television, it's fine. You can just sort of jump through this just like any normal guide. And we'll pick a different channel this time. We'll do our, our local ABC affiliate. And there you go. We are up and running. Now, one cool thing about this is you can pause your television at any point. I actually had a menu pulled up and I changed stations to whatever this is. We're going to pause it that way. So we have now paused the televisions. You can walk away and come back to this and then resume. You also do have DVR functionality. The back of this box has a USB port and you can use that to plug in a flash drive or an external hard drive. Now there is a fee to do that. Now the good news is that fee is $35 per year. So that's definitely not a fee that many of us would have too big of a problem with. This HD version of the box is about $200, $35 a year for the DVR thing. That's still going to be a lot cheaper over time than using something like YouTube TV. But I did mention that we have Plex and I'm a big fan of Plex. So let's talk about that. So this is my Plex setup that I have running on a Ugreen NAS that they sent over, and it's been absolutely fantastic. I've been loading this thing down with tons of content and canceling streaming services. This ability to have live TV inside Plex, I feel like, is, is the ultimate final step of this. And you can see it right here. If I click on live TV, there is my TV guide. I've got it right now only showing my favorite channels because I don't really need most of these channels. But you can see here just the same. I can click on one of these, clicking that play button, and it should fire up and start playing just like anything else. It does seem like it's a little bit slower through Plex. There's always like a little bit of a of a hitch here at the very beginning, but then it does pick up and it's absolutely fine after that. I think that's because it's running through my Plex server and there's an extra step going on there, but regardless, I can handle an extra little beat there. Let me show you how the setup process actually goes for this because like everything with this, it is insanely, insanely simple. So we're going to click on our little settings uh, icon up here. We would come down to live TV and DVR and there's a little button that pops up here where basically it's going to just search on your network. It will see the HD home run. You say, yep, that's it. And it's going to be on there. Like it is insanely, insanely simple. Let me see if I can show you add another device here so you can kind of see what this would look like. Don't see your HD home run device. Enter its network address manually. So if it doesn't pop up, you can do that. Mine's not going to pop up because it's already got it. But it would just pop up there. And again, the setup process took about 30 seconds. Now to get the most out of this setup, you do need to have Plex Pass, which is like six or seven dollars a month. And with that, you're going to get your, your guide, which is going to go very, very far. I think it's like supposed to be two weeks out or something like that. But a really, really, really neat feature is going to be that Plex also has its own DVR functionality. You can see the little record button right there. So I could start recording the news or you can schedule recordings out. And when you record things, you can tell it where you want them to be. I have mine going into the TV show section. And this is a show that I tested this on yesterday. Big fan of Nova and nature as well. So these are shows that I recorded. I was actually watching something else on my tuner while this recording was taking place. And this is what I ended up with. We can just play this here. Oh, by the way, it does give you the ability to skip ads if you have Plex Pass as well. We can skip ahead here and you can see how this is now playing. And I can play this on my computer, on my phone. And the cool thing is with Plex and using Plex Pass, which gives you remote viewing as well, I can be off my home network and view this television as well. Not only my DVR, but live TV too. With the HD Home Run app, you are restricted to watching stuff only on your home network. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Since I showed you what the HD Home Run app looked like on my TV, I figured I should also fire up the Plex application. We'll scroll down here to live television and you can see the guide loading in there. We also have the DVR schedule. You can see what I have scheduled to be recorded and you can also click on this browse button up here at the top 
which basically is just gonna show you a bunch of different shows that are available. There's the what's on option. And if you don't wanna use the guide, you can just see like what shows are currently uh, on the air. And then your recent channels. We'll go back to the guide just so you can see that view. And we'll jump into a television show. We'll just do uh, the news. It's actually about to be Let's Make a Deal. And just like on my phone, it is a little bit slower firing up than the HD Home Run application. That time was actually pretty darn quick, so no real complaints there. But occasionally there's like a little bit of a stutter actually loading into it. And like I said, anything that I record is just going to appear here. There's Nova, and I can jump into that and begin playing that right here on my television. And it's going to fire up and start playing just fine, actually very, very quickly. And on your mobile device, this is what the Plex app is going to look like. Now, this is on my Pixel 10 Pro Fold, and I must admit, the live TV section does not look great on this because they've got the screen of what you're watching here on the screen. And that means your guide is like crazy, crazy small down here at the bottom. If I closed it and used the cover display, it does look a lot better. But nonetheless, I'll show you what this kind of looks like. I can fire up a show. There's that sort of little hitch that it likes to do. Then it goes on playing just fine. I can click on that button and full screen this and I have the ability to begin recording. Go away taskbar, I do not need you. You can, like I said, uh, hit that record button down there and do all sorts of things as well. It works really well. That's just my only real complaint is the way that that looks. That's just a little bit on the ridiculous side. You can picture and picture this though, do other things, works great otherwise. I think this thing is absolutely fantastic. I have been enjoying having the live TV in there, the ability to schedule recordings, the ability to then have those recordings just be thrown into my Plex library in my storage. I can come back and watch them later. If Nova or Nature Air, they can be airing right now and they're just going to be being saved and they'll just be in my library when I come back and they'll just be with all my other shows. It's absolutely awesome. And if you don't want to use a Plex server, I think that their built-in app Seems to work pretty well also. Not as great on your phone, but I think really quite solid on your TV. So guys, I'm going to put a link to the HD Home Run in the description down below. If you click on that link and you make a purchase, I'm going to earn commission. It's a great way to help support the channel and it doesn't cost you a dime. And it's a great way to still have access to things like Monday Night Football without having to worry about if Disney's going to pull their shows off of YouTube TV or not. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.